A 13-year-old Deerfield Beach student charged as an accomplice in the near-beating death of her friend is speaking out for the first time today. Kayla Manson told the Today Show she is truly sorry for any pain she caused Josie Lou Ratley and denies knowing ahead of time the danger her friend was really in. News Channel 5's Angela Sacitano has her story. In her first interview since being released from juvenile detention center, Kayla Manson sat calm and poised as she talked about the day her best friend, Josie Lee Ratley, was beaten by another student on their middle school campus. Manson admits to pointing Ratley out to attacker Wayne Tracy, but says she never imagined he would become violent. I thought he would probably just curse her out or yell at her, embarrass her. But Tracy did more than that. Reports show he was enraged after a series of mean text messages the two sent back and forth. He jumped Ratley, police say, at the bus ramp and kicked her head in repeatedly. Manson was arrested for aiding the crime and spent 30 days behind bars. I wouldn't deliberately hurt somebody and I wouldn't help someone hurt somebody. Manson's lawyer blames the attack partially on a culture where it is acceptable for teens to threaten one another. We're sitting here with a 13-year-old little girl. These terms, unfortunately, are part of common vernacular in middle school. These children speak in ways that adults would not find appropriate. You're he you'll hear one child threaten another child. Oh, if you do that, I'll kill you. They don't take these things seriously. Now, all three teens' lives are ruined. Tracy behind bars, Ratley living a life in rehab, and Manson living in fear. She says the national attention has brought a host of death threats. It's been harder. I can't see my friends anymore. Can't go to school. Scared to walk outside. Angela Sacitano, WPTV News Channel 5.